Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to RAID. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do a quick close up, show you the different types of RAIDs, compare the two types of interfaces, which are the mini mono and the PCIe. Then we're going to show you a nice chart that's gonna break down the compatible types of RAID. It's gonna have the RAID levels, what the PCIe version, if it's hardware, if it's software, plus a bunch of other good stuff on there. Then we're gonna actually show you how to physically install your RAID. And then at the end, we're gonna show you how to configure your RAID to RAID 5. And whether you're doing different RAID levels, it's realistically the same step. So yes, there's a lot going on in this video. So let's just go ahead and hop in and get started. All right, I threw my ESD gear on before we handle the parts. So first things first, I just laid out a couple of the options. This isn't all of the options. We'll put up the chart in a minute. You'll see uh, a complete breakdown of the options. But uh, we have here an HBA330, H330, H730, H730P, and an H740P. And one of the things that you might notice is that on the outsides here, we have mini monos. I'm a big, big fan of the mini mono. You'll see when we do the installation later in this video that uh, there's a carved out slot specifically for the mini mono. Uh, I like to use the Mini Mono in order to save my PCIe slots. You can definitely throw in a uh, PCIe RAID. Uh, and, and that's the other thing that I should note, uh, just because these are Mini Monos doesn't mean you can't get an H730 in a PCA, you definitely can. It doesn't mean that the H740P doesn't come in a mini mono, it definitely does. So you can uh, mix and match as far as the different types. Um, and uh, and so the reason I always like to say I like to use the mini monos is uh, I wanna save my PCA slots. And especially if you're throwing in a bunch of networking cards um, or other stuff into your PCA for that matter, uh, I always start with the mini mono. It's what I always try to push uh, our customers to um, because the performance is gonna be the same either way. But again, you save a PCA slot. So uh, all right, now that we've seen the options, let's throw up our chart, which will do a really good breakdown showing you uh, the levels, the cache, uh, the PCIe, plus a ton of other stuff. And then afterwards, we're gonna show you how to actually install it. All right, so now we're gonna do our install. We're gonna install both the Mini Mono and the PCIe. All we're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get started. So simply just pop your latch like any server you've been in before. And we are going to uh, need to remove our air baffle and technically there's enough space that you don't have to uh, unless you do need to run the cabling to the back plane which we have set up already uh, but for the sake of the video this will make it a lot easier uh, view for you guys to see us do the installation here so all right one of the things that i always like to point out with the uh, the mini mono is that with the uh, the mini mono you need to make sure you have an interposer okay you see the little green board right here um, without this interposer um, you can still technically install install your mini mono but then you might be wondering you're at you're you're in your data center and you're like hey why am i not able to see my drives i've got my mini mono in there's a really really good chance that that issue is stemming from the fact that you do not have your interposer in uh, if you are working with them you know some of these guys are just kind of throwing up listings they constantly will forget stuff like that because they don't really understand the uh, the technology behind it um, if you get a server from us and you go to our website um, and you're looking at the different raid options this interposer will definitely be included uh, to make sure that you guys don't have any issues when you get the server out of the box from us so all right now what we're going to show you how to do is how to actually put your interposer on uh, and step-by-step -step instructions on uh, how to get everything set up here all right, in order to install our mini mono, we're gonna take our green PCB back here and we are gonna tuck it under these two black plastic pieces. So essentially you're just gonna slide this under and then come straight down so that the two holes line up. And then if you have the right cable, and this is one of the things I wanted to point out, that the cable is different. Uh, your SAS cable, or, or for your PERC cable is different for um, your mini mono versus your PCIe. So you have to make sure you have the right cable. And then this cable will literally just come down here and it's two screws with your Phillip head and you'll install your mini mono. So again, make sure that you have the right cable 
for the type of card that you have. So, all right, so now we'll install the uh, PCIe version. Make sure that you have the right profile. In this case, we're gonna be installing a high profile. So you really don't even need to remove the riser in order to do this. Uh, all you're gonna need to do is just take the, your blue piece, lift it up here so that we can remove the bracket that's currently in there. And then you're gonna line up three points. The tip right here, there's a um, little hole that this is gonna line into, and then the two points for your lead will line up perfectly for your slot here. So we're just gonna slide this in, nice and easy. Get everything lined up, and once it's lined up, you're just simply going to push it in. And once it's physically locked into place and everything's nice and flush right here, we're just simply gonna take our blue piece and lock it into place and we're good to go. So now we'll take uh, our cables and we will connect our cables here and we have officially installed our RAID controller. So hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, we do new and we do use Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.